love Valentine's Day. Couples Day to thrive, birds are singing, love is in the air, and so is COVID, so wear your masks, kids. We are here today to talk about fashion. And I know, I know, Valentine's Day is on a Sunday this year, so there's no, really no point in dressing up because who do we have to impress? The answer is yourselves. You can use Valentine's Day as an excuse to dress yourself up because damn it, if couples are allowed to flaunt themselves and do whatever they want, so should you. I say this as I have a full-blown relationship. This is actually the first year that I'm not single on Valentine's Day, which is really nice. The feeling of not being alone romantically on a day that celebrates love and romance and chocolates and teddy bears and etc, etc, etc. Even though this holiday is just a giant capitalist play to get people to buy more shit that they're never gonna use in their lives. It's nice to not be single. I was a cynic of Valentine's Day. I was very much the, it's Singles Awareness Day and fuck couples. But honestly, this day should just be about celebrating whatever the fuck you want. If you wanna be single, be proud and single. If you wanna be mushy and gushy and with your partner, go do that. If you wanna be in a polyamorous relationship and flaunt that about, do you boo because you deserve it <laughs> we're all suffering through this damn pandemic together we need one day of happiness hence this video i don't have that many clothes okay i shouldn't say that i have quite a bit of clothes but i don't have that many to like mix and match and make into like viable outfits that people can recreate so this might just end up being a lookbook more for me to use as like what the hell am i gonna wear to my skype date when it rolls around also, what movie are we gonna freaking watch? I don't know what we're gonna watch. The third to all the boys comes out the Friday before Valentine's Day. So I wanna put that on the list, but also my boyfriend's kind of a giant film geek. So I'm very, I kind of wanna peek into his brain and see what rom-com he chooses while also having to all the boys on standby because Asian representation, duh. Enough of me rambling. Let's get on with the video. Ooh, I like that. All right, we're starting off with the most basic of basics, jeans and a t-shirt. Except I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I'm wearing a tank top, folks, with a matching cardigan. I realized that I don't actually wear a t-shirt and jeans very often, so I thought I'd throw in this like upgraded take on a classic basic if you want to like up your aunties. And plus with the tank top, it's the perfect opportunity to flash those boys with your bare shoulders. Because as we all know, bare shoulders are a distraction. If I was a good three cup sizes down, I would have had this cute little number. But instead I've opted for this simple plain tank top with a matching little cardigan. If you want to be safe, I would say opt for a black or white matching set, unlike me, because it's hard to find a good shade of tan that'll match your skin tone. Moving on from that, we have this cute little bat sleeved faux corset top that I paid a lot of money for, paired with black jeans. This was 100% an impulse purchase after seeing it in multiple ads over the course of multiple months, but hey, I think it's cute, so why not pull it out? Personally, I really like the neckline paired with the unique details of the sleeves. Makes me feel like I'm flying in the air like a bird or a bat a la Sophia Nygaard. And the overall black shade makes it a lot easier to pair with black bottoms for a simple but cute outfit. And now for one of my most TikTok-y fits, which is saying something because I don't actually have a TikTok. I do, however, have a Twitch, and that is how I learned about the e-girl aesthetic. There's only one song that I can play. Only one. I think y'all know which one it is. <laughs> Ignoring my failed attempts to look quote-unquote hard, I actually really like the combo of the red blouse and the white turtleneck. Since the blouse, which is one of the most expensive blouses that I own, has small white text, I figured that it was a good way to coordinate and make an outfit that wasn't just the blouse and jeans, though I may have gone a bit far with this fit. If you find that your wardrobe is actually just a bunch of button-ups, turtlenecks, and jeans, this might be a good combo for you to try out. It gives off the illusion that you're trying a lot harder than you did because it's literally just a turtleneck underneath your button down. But hey, it looks cute. And if you're extra like me, you can go ahead and add the uh, chains. Oh! Give him, give him, give him! Whoa, nice! 
Taking a hard left from e-girl town, we're moving on to probably the simplest fit in this video. And I do mean the simplest because it's legit just leggings and a sweater vest. Honestly, leggings or yoga pants or whatever they're called now are an underrated item of clothing. They're comfortable and they're sexy. You can throw on a pair of them and lounge around in the house with them and your butt will look fantastic and you won't be uncomfortable. And that is the sweet medium that all of us are always looking for. All right, here's the point of the video where I'm probably gonna lose a chunk of you because from here on out, it's all skirts and dresses, baby. First up, another upgrade on the jeans and a t-shirt combo. Cause it's a skirt and a t-shirt. I'm not sure who to blame for my recent skirt obsession, whether it's the Instagram algorithms or my 12 years of private schooling, but I've really been honing in on pleated skirts lately. It's a nice subtle way to put a look together. And if you put on something like a t-shirt underneath and then crop it or tie it in a knot, it still looks like you're put together. And honestly, this look works as like a cute casual date night outfit when we're allowed to go on dates again. I miss going outside and doing things with people that I love. This next outfit is literally just a fulfillment of my you are like Ashley from best dress quota because it is a pink oversized silkyish top that matches the one that she thrifted the exact khaki skirt that she recommended in her 2019 favorites video anyways here's this skirt and a pair of earrings from her first en route collaboration collection not to mention the fact that I'm also Asian and I also want to move to New York as I'm saying this I don't know what the point of me saying that was but I really like this outfit. If I'm being honest, the oversized pink blouse could easily be replaced with a tighter white one for kind of a simpler look, but I would also definitely include the earrings. Cause with the earrings, especially like this look with the kind of oversized look, it adds like a vintagey, more elegant touch to the look that I really, really like. I will also be linking the silk blouse below if you are like me and you want to emulate Ashley in all parts of your life, but not in a creepy way. And we're back to the red blouse. I paid a good maybe $90 for this top a couple years ago, and I'm still getting use out of it, and I'm gonna continue to get use out of it because I need to get my money's worth. But honestly, I also included this fit because it's something I legitimately wear when I wanna feel cute, but I don't wanna put in too much effort. You want a break from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll, you'll receive 30, 30 minutes of ad free music. Ad free music. Yes. Really, if you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. You got the subtle white cursive against the red, and then you got the cute little waist-defining khaki skirt, and it's an outfit. Simple as that. You know, I'd wear this to like the bar, to a picnic, to the grocery store at 3 a.m. after a movie and we're bored and we want to walk around. Speaking of grocery stores though, I am fully aware that this looks like Target core. I don't know if Target core is a thing, but I'm making it a thing. Hello, my name is Rosie and I'll be trying out for the role of underpaid Target employee. And here I swapped out the khaki skirt for a white one to kind of put an upgrade to the sexy Target look. This is like Target manager core, Target CEO core, Target after hours core when you want to go to the bar but you don't want to change out of your uniform because you're tired and lazy and you didn't bring a change of clothes. Okay, I'm done with the Target jokes. Honestly, I feel like a young, rich, powerful woman who doesn't need to rely on a man to get by and I'm pretty proud of it. If I had a pearl necklace, I definitely would have worn it with this fit. But I think the hoop earrings, the hair up, and the defined waist kind of already give up rich vibes. I don't know about you, but that's how I felt when I was wearing this. Same logic as the white turtleneck combo from earlier, except instead of a white top, I match it to a white skirt. And then I added a little black sports bra. I was originally planning to pair this with a white sports bra, but I think the black gives a nice like contrast. And if I wanted to put on shoes, I'd probably pair it with my black boots because what girl doesn't match her shoes to a bra? All right. And next is this cute little fit. I, this is a pajama top from Costco and I turned it into an outfit and it's actually kind of cute. Again, I'm following the same logic from the previous outfit, matching the white polka dots to the white skirt. And I think the pink trimming along the collar kind of pulls the whole look together. It's a really cute fit, honestly. I would wear this pajama top out, which is saying something because I sleep in this every other week. I don't know what else to say, it's cute. And now we're on to the third skirt. Yes, I do own the same skirt in three different colors and I'm planning to get it in a fourth. Don't come for me, unless you're Los Angeles apparel, 
Feel free to sponsor me if you would like to, because I legitimately love your skirts. That being said, I actually really like the vibes of the skirt. It's really giving me like queen bitch, mean girls vibes. Somehow it's also giving me like anti-Valentine's Day vibes, even though it's all pink. Kind of like, yes, I'm very, very cute. I'm the cutest bitch in the world. I don't need anybody. I'm going to rule this whole school with my singlehood and no one's going to stop me. And I'm living for it. Kind of on the same wavelength as the previous outfit, we have this one with this really cute green top with puff sleeves and the sweetheart collarbone neckline. If it was a more muted shade of green, like a sage green, and then I had my hair down, this would be a lot more like good girl who does her studies and is shy kind of vibes, but like ponytail up, it's giving me the same bad bitch vibes as before, but in green. I was very much inspired by Trend Lovell, for this one because she had this one fit that was like green blazer pink underneath i forgot what it was but it looked freaking awesome and that's pretty much the only reason why i had this top so props to her and also props to flora from winx club all right now we're getting into some cute actual date night outfits starting with this dress from asos i'm literally only including this to sell you the dress because when i tried it on for the first time i fell in love with it I am wearing this to every single dinner date night that I end up going to because it's sexy and I feel amazing in it. It just hugs my curves in all the right places. It's just a good dress, you know? For those of y'all who might not like the deep V as much as I do though, you can always throw on a cute like turtleneck underneath. This sheer little turtleneck is from YesStyle. It's honestly one of my favorite things to wear under dresses that might have more revealing necklines for when I have to go to church. Honestly, this is still a look with the kind of like ruffled collar and the balloon sleeves of the red dress. The whole thing kind of gives me like sexy pirate vibes. Taking a hard 180 from that look, we got this cute little picnic bitch look. Something about a midi dress with like short sleeves and then kind of this kind of pink, kind of not color. Just makes me want to like run in a field and I don't know, eat strawberries. Why am I alone? Again, I don't have a TikTok, but I feel like this gives off massive cottagecore vibes throw on a couple pearly barrettes a glossy lip and frolic in a field with a picnic basket and go tend to some flowers or something and then i throw on this kind of yellow sweater in my dreams the sweater is like white or pink or red or something that's not bright yellow but you know some looks don't always work out in lookbooks so here you go now we have the last look of the lookbook, which is actually a dress that's thrifted. Although I'm very much aware that not everyone's gonna have a thrifted dress that fits them perfectly like I do. Honestly, this is giving me 50s housewife vibes, but minus the sexism and minus the racism. Who knows what would have happened to me if I lived through the 50s? Probably wouldn't have a YouTube channel. This would be the part that I would throw in like, thrifting tips like finding the perfect dress that'll fit you in the waist and then you can like modify it later but i haven't been thrifting in forever so i don't know what i could actually say other than this dress is cute and it's giving me 50s vibes now for the actual final look this is most likely what i'm going to be wearing on valentine's day because i have a zoom date this sweater was thrifted it may or may not have been my dad's because i got it at a goodwill that's right by my parents place so it might actually be my dad's and i just happened to get it but i really like the pale yellow color of the sweater and it's just nice to you know snuggle in when you're feeling alone but you don't have your partner with you or maybe you don't have a partner at all and you just kind of want the comfort of one without the responsibility of being in a relationship i get you i get you just go get yourself a giant oversized sweater and hug yourself because honestly we all just need a giant hug this valentine's day if not from anyone else from ourselves SUNLIGHT! Alright, that's enough of that So that's about all I have for y'all this beautiful February of whenever I'm gonna post this, hopefully before Valentine's Day, ideally before Valentine's Day, so that y'all can use this on the day of and not three days after, kinda like how I posted my first video a month after my finals happened be sure to like comment and subscribe to this channel so i can be a little more motivated in posting videos i don't know what i'm going to do with this channel yet thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye cue the outro oh my